Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 2 raised to power x plus 3 equals to 3 raised to power x plus 2. From here, we can separate this from the law of indices and this becomes 2 raised to power x times 2 raised to power 3 equals to. Also on this side, we separate that. We have 3 raised to power x times 3 raised to power 2. And then let's separate the power of x on one side and with the one without x on the other side. That means we divide this side by 3 raised to power x. Also divide this side by 3 raised to power x. And we remove this one on this side as well. Divide this side again by 2 raised to power 3. Also divide this side by 2 raised to power 3. Then on this side we have. 2 raised to power x cancel 3 raised to power x cancel 3 raised to power x and on this side as well 2 raised to power 3 cancel 2 raised to power 3 and what we have left here is 2 raised to power x over 3 raised to power x which is equals to 3 raised to power 2 that 3 square over 2 raised to power 3 then we can rewrite what we have on the left hand side from where we have a raised to power n over b raised to power n. We can shorten this as a over b then or raised to power n since they have the same power. We can bring it out of the bracket and this will become 2 over 3 raised to power x equals to 3 square over 2 cubed. And then in the next step, we can take the log on both sides. So log on this side, we have log 2 over 3 to the power of x equals to log 3 square over 2 cube. And then in the next step, we apply the power law of log reading on the left hand side. That is why we have log m to the power of p so this power can be taken to the back here and this will become p log m so when we apply that here x we now come here we have x log 2 over 3 now which is equals to log 3 squared then over 2 cube then in the next step also we can also apply law of indices. When we have log A divided by B, we can separate it into two log and this will become log A minus log B. So let's apply this to these fractions here. So here we can say we have X into bracket log 2 minus log 3 we separated that from here and then also on this side we apply that here so this become log 3 squared then minus log 2 cube then in the next step we can remove this log of 2 minus log 3 on this side by dividing through by log 2 minus log 3 so we divide both side by log 2 minus log 3 and this cancel each other here then we left it x which is equals to then we can write this again applying power law of log reading we take 2 to the back here so this is going to 2 log 3 minus then here as well we have 3 log 2 then divided by log 2 minus log 3 and then we can substitute the values of log 3 and log 2 so we have log 3 to be equals to log 3 is same thing as 0 point so we have the value of log 3 is given as 0 0.4771 and then we have log 2 to be the same thing as 0 
Then when we put this here, we can say x now will be equals to 2 multiplied by log 3. That's 2 times 0 0.4771. Then minus 3 times log 2. That's 3 times 0 0.301. Then divided by log 2 minus log 3. That will be 0 0.301. Minus 0 0.4771 and uh, we can simplify this with our calculator and uh, we get x equals to minus 0 0.2907 when we put this in the calculator we have the value of x to be x equals to minus 0 0.2907 and this will give us the approximate solution to the problem. We can also check if the value of x is correct by putting that into the equation given. You can please do that to confirm. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel as not to miss out on any of my uploads. See you in the next class and bye for now.